There's certainly no shortage of film about Anthony Bourdain. A food and travel expert for decades, he's circled the globe many times over, tasting all sorts of exotic foods. In several series, viewers saw him as their surrogate, and yeah, they embraced him. But in the new documentary, Roadrunner, we get a different Tony, one who's trapped by the attention and conflicted about the 250 days a year he wasn't home. The film, directed by Morgan Neville, tries to understand why he committed suicide. Friends, colleagues, and relatives weigh in about Bourdain's rise and talk about the changes that up the stakes. Because he got a lot of attention for his book, Kitchen Confidential, Bourdain had plenty of opportunities. Intrigued, he took the TV route and found he wasn't going to be happy using others' words to tell his stories. So he wrote his own scripts, asked his own questions, and he merged with a brand that was unique. When others couldn't help, he became isolated. The early day Tony isn't as controlled as the later one. Folks he worked with talk about the differences and explain how three women in his life affected it. The documentary is fascinating if you're a Bourdain fan, but if you have fleeting knowledge of his career, it could be seen as another celebrity biography. Neville uses artificial intelligence to recreate Bourdain's voice for certain segments of the film, and that's, that's troubling, particularly since there were plenty of sound clips that could have managed the same effect. The film also doesn't include an interview with Asia Argento, the woman he was dating at the end of his life. Like other nonfiction films, Roadrunner pushes a narrative that its interviews don't necessarily support. Because colleagues open up about his effect on them, it might have been better to tell more of the story through their eyes. They knew him better than any film could, but often they're overwhelmed by the choices Neville makes. Roadrunner is an intriguing documentary, it's just not a definitive one. And maybe that's the way Anthony Bourdain would have wanted it. Mysterious, even in death. With your Movies in a Minute, I'm Bruce Miller.